Welcome back. I have another mod to show you for the fan spawner on the Unreal Marketplace. I already made one, uh, I don't know, about two weeks ago. And Ewan from uh, Bradwell Gaming has already went ahead and added it. Uh, and he sent me a, a copy of it before I hit the marketplace. It works great. I had a quick chance to check it out. Um, and to add another quick mod here that I've already added to the first version. Um, if you got anything off the marketplace, you know, uh, like a stadium, um, they'll usually have a spline spa uh, based seating system. And here it is. If I hit G, you can see it. Um, and this particular stadium is this guy from Switchboard. Uh, I lucked out and got this on the day of release at a great introductory price. Looks great. Performs great. Uh, has a lot of nice features. And it comes with its own spline seating system. And you can tap into that. And instead of having to redo all of these splines, you can just uh, feed the fan spawner um, these splines. Um, so let me show you how it works. I'm going to put the fan spawner here for now. I'm going to change this to stand chairs because they work well in this stadium. Um, and they're both set to Unreal Mannequin size scales of uh, reference. And then the next step is to um, select the spline reference that you want the fan spawner to use. Now you could do it from this list, but it's easier to go oops, with the eyedropper. Yeah, let's get in closer here. Hit import spline and then copy spline location. And poof. You don't have to draw out the curve and they're already there. Um, in the new version here, there is spacing for the chairs. And we find it. Here we go. So you could actually fill in some gaps here. It's a little laggy probably because I have an OBS on. Um, and you could space out these chairs, or you could actually move these splines a little bit. Um, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So let me show you how the blueprint is set up. Let me go ahead and just undo all this stuff. Do that there. Here's a box of code that I made for it. Um, this time around, instead of just chucking it onto the gray area here, I actually made a section so you can really see what's going on. Um, and it's really all about the variables. So there's two Booleans. Hey, you want to import the spline? And where is the, um, you know, are you going to copy the spline location? Um, down here is another variable, and this is the reference to the blueprint that drives the original stadium spline seating um by the way i already are, just went ahead and turned off the rendering of the seats they're still here they just turned them off um so what it does if it sets the base spline um variable which is used throughout the rest of the blueprint um that was already set up so uh, let me just check if I want to show you anything else. That's about it. Um, oh, the get actor location function from the spline seating reference. Um, and the spline uh, target is the um, component. Um, and that's how you can set the base spline to its spline. Um, and here's the um, actor location again. This location and you set the new location. And that's in this branch of logic. And that's all there is to it. Um, it's set right in the right at the start, so the base spline gets set early, and now um, it will use it. And it's pretty simple. Um, I already made another system here that will grab all the splines in the stadium and it needs settings. And that would be these chairs. So I could actually change these to, let's change them to red. And this will go throughout all these splines and replace them with fan spawners, splines. Hope I'm saying that right. 
Um, if I hit get spline, it should go. This is a symmetrical only switch. So um, as you can see, there's not splines in every corner because they're the same, just um, inverted around on the world uh, center here. So you can just grab them um, later on and just transform them over. Um, these splines over here are the ones that aren't symmetrical because the corners aren't exactly the same. So if I hit get spline, let's see if this works. It should, it's taking a minute. And now you have spline seating set up for the fans. Um, and then you could go ahead and combine these if you wanted to, um, or just about anything. And hopefully that will save you a whole bunch of time. Um, and let me show you what this blueprint looks like. So it's a custom event. Set this guy up. Uh, this is fairly simple. Get all actors, and then it puts it in this for each loop. Um, with a couple branches of uh, logic here. Um, so the target is the symmetry. Is it uh, symmetrical or not? Um, and again, as you can see, the first time I ran it, I ran all the symmetrical ones. Um, and then if it's sim only, it spawns the BP fan spawner. Now, um, by the way, these variables have to be exposed. I don't think I showed you that. So let me go back here. If you look down here, I expose these pins over here. And now you can see them and tap into them. Um, so the rest of this is fairly simple. Get the transform. Um, and here are the fan blue point, uh, blueprint settings. So it knows what kind of chairs, the colors, um, what style, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that's about it. I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see. Again, there's nothing really complicated here. Um, but hopefully this will save you a whole bunch of time um, if you've already got a spline system and you want to replace them with fans. So that's it for this one. Um, hope it helps, and thanks for watching.